Hey there, this is Jessica from JewelryTutorialHQ.com and Bespangled Beads on Etsy. In this video, we're going to learn how to make this braided leather tassel bracelet. Materials that you'll need for this project include 3 feet of 3 millimeter wide or 1 8 inch wide leather lace, 3 jump rings, 2 fold over crimp ends, and a clasp. Now I sell this as a kit in my shop. It's available in other colors besides this one. You can click here to buy that kit now if you don't already have it, or you can use your own materials. Some other things that you'll need include two pairs of jewelry pliers, flush cutters or small sharp scissors, some leather glue or fabric glue, and some toothpicks and a paper towel. And I've already cut my leather into three sections that are each one foot long, and I'm going to layer the ends one on top of the other so that they're going to fit inside the end crimp. I'm going to push the leather into the crimp, making sure it goes as far back as possible and give it a little squeeze with my fingers. Make sure none of the ends are sticking out. Then I'm going to squeeze again using my chain nose pliers or bent chain nose pliers. Uh, make sure you squeeze on the end where the teeth are and get a good grip. And we're going to attach jump ring. If you've never used jump rings before and you'd like to know the proper way to do that, you can click here to see that video. I go into detail on using jump rings. After you slide on the clasp, you can close up the jump ring. And then we're ready to get to braiding. I'm going to assume that most people know how to braid, so I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but I'll just tell you really quickly. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's just right over middle and then left over middle and you keep repeating that on and on. And the trick with this flat leather is just to make sure that it stays flat as you braid and make sure that you untwist anything that gets twisted along the way so that your bracelet will lie flat when it's finished. Now I think you got the braiding thing down. You're just going to continue braiding until you're about a quarter inch shy of the length that you want your bracelet to be. Um, so you start measuring from the clasp. I'm going to cut mine at seven and a half because I want it to be seven and three quarters. And that will just account for the jump ring because the crimp end is not going to take up any space really. And we're going to do the same thing as we did on the other end. Make sure that your ends are overlapped. And if they're uneven, go ahead and trim any excess off so they're all in line. And slide the ends into the crimp, squeeze it with your fingers, crimp it with your pliers, and then attach another jump ring. So now we have the bracelet finished and we're ready to make the tassel. So for that, we're going to grab one of the pieces left over from when we trimmed our braid. Now this piece is probably about four and a half inches long and it might vary because the length of your bracelet will vary, but that's okay because you can trim it up later. So thread it through the jump ring and find the middle. And then do the same with the second piece of leather, just making sure it lies flat against the first piece. Using a toothpick, I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of fabric glue. Um, you can also use leather glue, and I don't want you to worry too much about the brand. Anything that says it will bond uh, leather or fabric should work just fine. Uh, and I'm going to do the same on the outside of the first piece. And I'm just doing this so that the leather will stay in place as I wrap around the last piece of leather. So now I'm just putting some glue on the end of the third piece of leftover leather. I'm going to line this up so that it sits about halfway across one of the sides of the tassel. And then I'm going to wrap it around and I'm going to glue all the sides as I go along. And when I get back to the side where I started, I want to overlap just a little bit of the leather 
and then trim as close as I can using either with flush cutters or some really sharp fabric scissors and sticking that last end down. Now we just need to attach the tassel to the bracelet, open up the jump ring, hook it onto the ring. I like to attach it to the ring that holds the clasp so that it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to open and close the bracelet. And with this tassel, you can trim it however you want. Um, you might prefer it one way or the other. But that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this project. And I hope you'll visit me at JewelryTutorialHQ.com. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.